kids? I'm Hallie with the Chattanooga Public Library in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And this is Lori Beth. She is a penguin keeper at the Tennessee Aquarium. That means she takes care of the penguins and helps them to learn new things every day. Lori Beth is holding bacon, a macaroni penguin. She says that bacon wants to get on her shoulder. Lori Beth does her best to keep the penguins from getting too bored living inside instead of at the South Pole. She gives them new things to try, like they might do if they were living in the wild. Here she's playing with Bigfoot, a Gentoo penguin. Penguin playtime and learning new things is what Lori Beth calls enrichment. Let's watch some more penguin enrichment. Here comes Bigfoot running from the top of your screen towards the camera and the sprinkler that Lori Beth set up. Have you ever run through a sprinkler on a hot day? The penguins are not hot. This is just for fun. There goes bacon. See how Bigfoot stopped when he got to the sprinkler? Lori Beth explained to me that penguins can see really well underwater, but on land they only see well up close. Now that Bigfoot's close enough to see the water sprinkling down, he's not so sure he wants to go through. Go for it, Bigfoot! Sometimes keepers have to put medicine on penguins' feet. To get them used to the feeling of something being put on their feet, Lori Beth can set out a paint for them to walk through. If the penguins then walk across paper, they can paint a picture. Can you see their webbed footprints? Penguins aren't the only animals that get enrichment at the aquarium. Here's another animal that lives partly in the water and partly out of the water. The river otter. This otter is enjoying rolling around in the sand because it feels good and maybe even helps clean its coat. He can shake the sand off afterwards. The sandbox also gives him a chance to dig, which otters do naturally. The sand is in a small tub that rocks back and forth like a log on a river might move in the otter's natural home. Here's something new for the otters to explore, a remote control car. Benny is the otter swimming with his nose closest to the car, while Maya and Delmar are tumbling around him. All three look like they're having a big time, don't they? Well, enough of that for now. Otters are fun to watch, and we humans aren't the only ones who think so. Can you see who is watching them now? It's Bubba, the barred owl. Bubba is watching and listening to the otters swimming. While owls are nighttime creatures, they sometimes wake up during the day. Time to turn around and stretch! Do you think Bubba heard something behind him? I wonder what? Here's the third bird, and probably the smartest animal we'll meet today, a crow named Minnow. Birds often use their beaks to forage or hunt for their food. For example, they might pick through a pile of leaves for seeds. In this case, Minna was picking through a cherry pie the keepers made out of paper. She is finding brown mealworms to eat amongst the red paper. Crows are very skilled at finding ways to get their food. Some crows even make their own tools to get food and then they'll carry their favorite tools with them to use later. Now that's a smart bird. For animals and for people, it's good to try something new. A new book, new foods, or new places. This otter looks like he wants to visit someplace new on the globe. Animals kept inside need people like Lori Beth to help them stay healthy. But only a penguin parent can teach its baby to talk.